Uh, no, he play, but everything. His defense was really good. Um, he made good decisions. But, you know, like he got his pick and roll game going last night. Uh, he had a good post-up sequence where he got, you know, used his size in the paint. And then also, um, you know, he made his threes. So mm -hmm. he played. I think he's playing better and better. He's getting more comfortable. And, uh, you know, he can play well at both ends of the floor. You used him with DJ some too, didn't you? You want to Well, he was playing so well that I don't want to take him out right there. And then he got a little tired at the end. But he, he played really well. Steve, what alarmed you about the first two and a half minutes of the third quarter last night? Oh, we just broke down. I mean, you know, just mistakes uh, defensively. It was really more the side pick and roll defense. And uh, things that we did a good job of in the first quarter, uh, first half, and then uh, you know, but it cost us. And um, you know, that little stretch, I think it went from like 10 to 19. Um, and then after that, we played well. You know, we were we were good after that. We put good sequences of play together, um, and they're good. They're such a good team to play against because you know they're they're so disciplined and they play with great intensity. So uh, after that, I was happy with how we played. In a stretch like that where the team, I think the, one of the words you used last night was flat, how do you determine on the fly your demeanor in the timeout huddle, whether to, whether to try to soothe things or whether to, to... I mean, I think, you know, whatever. I think you just got to feel for it. You just have to, um, you know, you're trying to do your best to get a feel for where the team's at, you know, and whatever whatever you think is the best way to help them. Um, listen, this isn't a league where over 82 games, five exhibition in the playoffs, you're going to be screaming every time somebody goes 9-0, you know, or they're going to stop listening to you pretty quickly, you know. These guys are good enough players, and they've all accomplished enough so that even at 19, you know, you come out, you hit a couple shots, and 48 minutes is a long, long time. Jonathan able to do today? How did he look? He did, you know, we did. We um, we just played a little live. We didn't do a ton of live, but he did it all, and he looked good. So now it's just going to be a question of um, you know, he's down shooting right now of how he feels. You know, how he feels tomorrow when he gets up, and um, but he moved well, and uh, he said he felt good. What about Terrence? You know, he didn't do the uh, live um. But he did the other stuff, and he said he's feeling better. His, it's soreness, you know, it's a contusion. And what was happening was, you know, he wants to get out and play, but what happens is every time he plays for a couple of days, then it gets worse again. So, you know, we want him to be ready for when we start. So hopefully, you know, Thursday, Friday like that, you know, then he could be, uh, be ready. I know you talked about him yesterday, but Wes Wondo having a guy like that that can come in and fill in, what does, you know, how much confidence do you have him at this point? He played good again last night now. Played well. I mean, he's, uh, like I said, you know, he's smart, and we execute at both ends of the floor when he's out there. So, I mean, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's got a chance to be a good player. Well, coaches say they don't know a guy until they coach him. What, what have you learned about Jonathan as far as, you know, being around him in the summer? And being Jonathan around, Isaac? Isaac. Uh -huh. Oh, I mean, uh, high IQ, has a great feel for the game at both ends of the floor, terrific defensive instincts, um, but he plays in a way, to me, if I was an NBA player, I'd want to be on his team. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to move the ball willingly. Uh, his decision-making is good. And then again, he really he does the same thing. You know, he's smart on offense and he's smart on defense. The season these days in recent years opening so quickly without a corresponding earlier start date to training camp. Does that leave you and your assistant coaches enough time uh, to get your team hitting the ground running on a, on an October 17th? Yeah, not definitely not as definitely not as much as it was before. Um, I think it makes the the summer is even more important that you have guys that that uh, work and then like you know as many guys like we had a lot of guys around in September which I feel helped us but uh, yeah I mean you know that although I'll say this the first three four games of every regular season is always a little bit of a crapshoot anyway but even more so now Fire coaches' departure and a new coach's arrival. 
that make these dinners, these conversations you had one on one with guys just much much more crucial? Well, yeah, I mean because I, you know I think that we're just you're just starting to get to know each other, you know. So I think that um, you know just getting up to speed of having a you know a um, you know whatever a comfort level with each other, you know, where you start to communicate. So much of play, player coaches agreeing on how they should play or how they need to play so they're playing well and the team functions well, and that's where all that can start. Jeremy was saying that it meant a lot to him that not long after he was traded, you and him were going to lunch like that next day, and that meant a lot to him that you reached out to him. Is that kind of the goal? Is well, to him no, it meant a lot to him because I paid. <laughs> That's what happened. He That's can what say what was. he wants, yeah. If I, when the check came, if I would have said, if you got this, we'll see if he would have still said. No, 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 I mean, like, I, I just think you can't, again... <laughs> Like, communication is such a big deal. It's no different than what you guys do. You want to have the right communication uh-huh. with the people that you work closely with. Mm-hmm. So um, it's important to get that started. Did he hit you hard on that lunch? Did he hit you hard on that He lunch? was actually pretty good. <laughs>